Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this fun Mother's Day inspired cake with gold leaf, some buttercream roses and a swiping kind of effect at the base. I'll start off with the roses so that they have ample time to dry. Into a piping bag I have a 104 tip and I'm just feeding through about a couple of tablespoons of white buttercream. Give it a good twist so that as you squeeze the buttercream doesn't come out the other side and then take some marshmallows and cut them down diagonally so you have two triangles. Cut them down again so to make four triangles and then take either um, some fads which are kind of like these thin candy sticks or you can just take some skewers and feed it through the triangle. Make sure the tip or one of the corners is facing up and create a buttercream cone around that. On top of it I'm applying three petals and then I'm just going all the way around twisting the skewer as I go. The skewer kind of works here as a floral nail for us. And you can literally bring that all the way down to the base of the marshmallow. I find that this is an incredibly easy way to practice your uh, rose piping skills. I think it's much easier than actually using a flat base and a floral nail. So definitely give this a go if you're just starting out. And make sure to have that first kind of cone nice and tight. And then create arching motions with the piping tip. So you're not just going across, you're going up and down, up and down as you pipe. The lower petals towards the end, I do make them much longer so that the rose looks more open, bloomed and full. Pop those into the freezer now for about an hour. And in the meantime, you can work with your cake. This is a five inch cake that I've used and I'm filling in with buttercream. You can find the recipe for the buttercream listed in the eye icon up top or in the description box down below. My cakes are baked in three inch tall cake tins. I always like to add two cakes cut in half. So I end up with four layers of cake in total whenever I'm making a cake like this. Create a crumb coat. This is just a really thin layer of frosting all around the cake to trap in your crumbs. And then take your smoother, smooth it out as you go and then fill in any pockets if you see any. Whenever you're working with a white buttercream finish, you want to make sure that the crumb coat's nice and thick. That way you're less likely to see through to the crumb layer at the final layer of frosting. Into two little bowls, I've added some pink gel food color and green gel food color. If it's a little bit too dark, you can pop to the side and just use a teaspoon in some white um, buttercream to make a lighter shade again. I used this shade for the leaves, but I used the two darker shades for the base of the cake. Now that our crumb coat is nice and set from the fridge, after about 20 minutes, I'm applying our final layer of frosting. Make sure it's nice and thick, and just like we did before, we're going to be smoothing it out with our frosting scraper. And once we're happy with the finish, take a small or a large spatula and then dip it into those containers with the colored buttercream. I've got both on there equally and I'm swiping diagonally from the base of the cake. Reload after every second or third swipe. And continue all the way around till you're happy with the effect. You can overlap in areas as well if you didn't quite like it too much. It's a very forgiving design. Clean up that cake board and then while the, um, while the frosting is still wet, you can add on any edible gold driggies. I've added some small ones and some larger ones on top as well. Take your spatula and bring the lip of frosting towards the middle. I like to go on with a clean spatula each time. So swipe off that buttercream and then you can pop it back into the fridge to set completely for 20 minutes. At this point, our roses should be nice and frozen or at least nice and firm. You can remove the roses from the skewers with a little bit of pressure from your scissors. You can use your hands, but you kind of risk breaking them. Scissors is just a lot easier for some reason. Stick them onto your cake with some buttercream. I'm just piping little mounds and placing my roses on there in a diagonal way so that they kind of face 
up and to the side rather than just straight up. I feel like it gives it a bit more of a natural look. Fill in the center with more of those roses again. And I'm just placing them on nice tall buttercream mounds here. Once it's all full, and I do have that teeny tiny little rose in there as well. I made a couple of those just in case of small spaces. Once it's all done, grab a leaf tip. This is a 352 leaf tip with some of that green buttercream we made before. And just filling in the spaces. Be mindful to cover any of those pockets where you can see between the roses. Be very strategic about how you're placing these leaves. You can stop there or you can add little or I guess we can say even medium sized edible gold riggies into the bouquet as well. Still didn't look complete to me so I decided to go in with some edible gold leaf just at the base of this too. If it doesn't want to stick you can spray or even just kind of um, brush a little bit of water onto your cake and that way your gold leaf will stick nicely. And that's it! Very fun and easy Mother's Day style bouquet cake with the cool kind of swiped effect at the bottom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and give the cake a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot. I would love to see how your one turns out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and we'll catch you again in the next one.